looks like we all had the same idea this morning. Oh, well, we wanted to bring Dad something. Yeah, so we got him this e-reader so he doesn't go stir-crazy. Well, that's very nice. He's lucky to have two thoughtful daughters. Hmm, that's us. So you won't mind if Jack goes first. He and his father have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, this is my life we're talking about here, and you owe me. Oh, I gotta go. Hey, hey pal. Well, it took you long enough to come see me. I've been under house arrest. Is that right? What did he do? Did you bribe a teacher or something? Oh, it was a lot worse than that. Are you going to tell him what you did to Shane Marasco, or should I? Hmm? Hello. We have an appointment with Dr. Bahari for family counseling. Can you say it a little louder, Mom? They didn't hear you all the way in the cafeteria. Yes, right here. And will Mr. Balsam be joining you? Yeah, he's uh, he's parking the car. He'll be here in a minute. <sighs> yeah, I have the tape of Marty's therapy session with me. Don't worry, I'll try to figure out a way to get it back to where it belongs. Oh, no. Looks like Dad's about to find out everything that Jack's been up to lately. As if enough stuff wasn't going wrong already. Oh, tell me about it. Shane Marasco, isn't that... Uh, Rex's little pipsqueak kid. See, even Dad knows he's a geek. What did you just say? I don't know what. Have you not learned a thing here, Jack? What are you guys talking about? Me and some friends just teased the guy. Okay. And? We used the internet and said some stuff. Some vicious, awful stuff. Well, well that's what they're doing. I mean, that's what all kids do. No, Todd, just using it's, it's... New technology. It's so. worse than that. Jack? We took a video of Shane after gym class, naked, and we posted that. And? He flipped out. And? He... He tried to jump off the roof and kill himself. But it's not my fault the kid's a psycho, right, Dad? Hey, guys. Hey. That was fast. Well, the parking gods were with me. <laughs> We're all here, good. I'd like to start today with a brief private session. Oh, Shane, sorry. I met with your parents this time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you do some of that work you have to catch up on? Yeah, okay. So, why do you want to see us? I just have a few questions. First, how has Shane seemed to you since we last saw each other? Hmm. He's been quiet, but um, I feel like he's a little less stressed, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Especially since we've been keeping him out of school and he's been doing his work at home. I'm glad to hear it. I also need to tell you, a tape labeled with your son's name has gone missing. However, it wasn't a recording of his appointment. The tape was mislabeled. It was actually of another patient session. You know, my... I assure you, the tape of Shane's visit is secure. It has been relabeled and properly filed. But I do feel terrible that another patient's confidentiality may have been compromised. I explained how important strict confidentiality was when you wanted to know what Shane had told me privately. Okay. She's on to us. Okay. I took the tape. We didn't listen to it. And I know it was wrong to take it, but I was terrified if... Shane is still talking about suicide. I need to know. Of course. I understand completely. And I want you to know, confidentiality does not extend to situations where a patient confesses being a danger to himself or others. If that was the case, I'd address it immediately. Oh. So, so does that mean that... Shane hasn't said anything that indicates that's the case with him. <sighs> Thank God. But Miss Marasco... I need you to trust that this process does work 
and not try to fix everything yourself. Actually, Gigi isn't the only one who tried to fix things. Go on. I don't want to get into sp specifics, but I sort of took extreme actions myself. What, are you going to say something, Todd? How's Shane doing? He's fine. He's alive. I really doubt that he's fine after the psychological damage that you may have caused him. I wasn't the only one. You were the ringleader! Is that true? What difference does it make? You want to talk about bullying? What about what Shane's dad did to me? What are you talking about? What did he do? Rex sent some thugs to beat me up. I went pretty crazy when Shane tried to jump off that roof. I just, I just wanted to go after the person who caused it. Just like your son, you and Gigi need to find healthy and legal ways to deal with your fear and anger about what happened. You do understand you weren't helping the situation, correct? <sighs> yeah, all right. Look, I know it was wrong. The, the, the bottom line is I just, I, I didn't, I wanted to make sure Shane wouldn't be bullied again. I think I got my point across. We were lucky that Jack wasn't seriously hurt. Yeah, Mom's boyfriend took care of the guys. <laughs> boyfriend? Oh, you mean Tomas and Delgado. No, Tomas oh. just happened Sorry. to be there, and he is not my boyfriend. And we don't even know if Rex actually sent those guys into Capricorn or oh, not. come on. And you know what? I don't blame him if he did. Sure, because you don't give a crap about me. Oh, hey. Jack. Why don't you just hit me again? What? I slapped him. I'm not proud of it, all right? But it was a knee-jerk reaction after what you said. What did he say? He said that maybe Shane was asking for it. Just like Marty Saybrook. Shane, come on in. Your parents have something they'd like to tell you. Yeah, that's right. I... I took the law into my own hands. Wait, you mean you hired those guys to beat up Jack? No, no, I said I took the law into my own hands. Why don't we just leave it at that? Everyone already said I couldn't fight my own battles. Shane, I'm so sorry. Okay, what I did was not the way to handle this. And, uh... I have something to say, too. After we left here the last time, I I took the tape of your private session. What? But I didn't listen to it, Shane, I swear. I just, I felt so guilty for not knowing what was going on with you. You want to know what's going on? Here, take a look. Everyone else already has. I don't get it. What's the point of talking about my feelings when nothing's changed? Marty Saybrook asked for it. Where'd you get that idea? From you? From me. Yeah, I've heard you say it before. No, no, no. No. Never. I've never said that. Because it's not true. I mean, and even if I had said it, why on earth would you repeat it? Because I want to be like you. And I'd be like me. Yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, you're rich, powerful, successful. Sit down. Well, I'm also lying in this bed because I ticked off the wrong person. I spent my entire life doing whatever the hell I wanted with little regard for how it affected other people. You know, I have been called bully before. Who cares what those losers think? Do you mean losers like your sisters? Losers like your Aunt Vicky, losers like your mother, I tell ya, those people, people we love. That's what they thought of me. No, they're wrong. Well, I, I wish that were true. Listen, I know what it's like uh, to want to take advantage of someone weaker just because you can. I mean, 
to get your friends involved. You have to realize that, that actions can have very harmful consequences. And uh, I just don't like what I'm seeing here, man. Because I'm seeing me, and the last thing I want for you is to become like me. Yes, I know what it's like to be a bully. But I also know what it's like to feel like you have nothing left to live for, honey. And to want to step out on the edge of a roof. Oh, come on. You on a roof? Yes. Yes. Me. You don't believe me? Ask your mom. Mm-hmm. It's true. So I think I know what Shane must be going through right now. But I know what you feel like, and I'm very sorry that I have not been here for you through all of this. But here I am now. And, uh... I hope that I can help you become the kind of man that... that your mother would be proud of, that I'd be proud of, and... and for you to become proud of yourself. Okay? All right, so, uh, Would you just... would you excuse us for a second? I have to talk to your mom. been over for you? You guys might want to come back later. I think this is going to take a while. How's that? Well, he looks okay. But that bullet definitely did something to his brain. And he's talking like some sitcom dad. Sitcom dad? Yo, Brad. My man. What up? Jack's still at it. I don't know who it is. They all changed their screen names. Shane, I thought I told you to shut down your MyFace page. Shane's right. The therapy is not going to stop these idiots. Well, we're not here to change bullies' behaviors. There will always be bullies. We're here to work on strategies for Shane to deal with them. Yeah, well, I don't have to deal with it because I'm never going back to school again. No, I haven't seen anything. My mom locked me out of my face after Wheezy almost took a leap. Don't worry, I'll figure out a way to get back on. Drama queen? Good one. Now, here's what you should write next. It scares me. Jack shows no signs of remorse. Yeah, I know, I saw that. Well, I'm sorry to lay this on you. I know that you're trying to recover from being shot. By Tomas Delgado, your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Jack's just trying to stir the pot. So you have not been fraternizing with the enemy? The enemy, as you say, saved our son from those thugs. Mm. So he's a hero. That's, that's why you've been dating him. I'm not dating him! I just went out with him to find out if he was the one that really shot you. Now you know. I agree that sending Shane back into the school environment right now would be counterproductive. But I urge you not to think in terms of never. It's taken a while for this situation to develop. It makes sense that it's going to take a while to work through it. But, Shane, I'd like to ask why you felt compelled to check your My Face page. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to see if it stopped. What those other kids say doesn't define you. Before our next session, I want you to make a list of your strengths, of the things about yourself that make you feel proud. And Rex and Gigi, I want you to make your own list, too, of what you perceive as your son's strengths. In the meantime, Shane, we have your assurance that if it starts to feel too alone in this, you know who to call? Yeah, I do. Good. Then I'll see you all next session. All right. Thank you. Grab the stuff. You, but I can think of a million ways that our son is special. Yeah, me too. But is it really gonna stop those other kids from posting what they're saying about him online? I'm not sure how to make Jack understand 
at how wrong his behavior really is. I mean, we've always indulged him. Yeah, not anymore. Jack! I know you're still going after Shane on the internet. Dad, please. It wasn't me. My mom made me shut down my MyFace page. To talk to you a minute. I heard what happened between our sons. I'm sure you think what your son did was all right. No, no, not at all. No, and I'm sorry about it. And so are you, right? Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't think we heard you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, I will deal with him. We just hope this puts an end to this awful chapter in our lives. So do we. Oh, uh, Rex? Rex? I mean, I just want you to know that uh, if you or anyone you know ever lays hands on my son again, I'm going to give you a beat. What did you say to Rex? Just a more personal apology. I'm worried that this is far from over. 